You got a minute? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated movies of 2023. Be warned, there is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. For this list, we'll be looking at the movies that we're the most pumped to see over the next year. Keep in mind that release dates are subject to change. What's your most anticipated movie of 2023? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Dune Part 2. Release date, November 3rd, 2023. Timothy Chalamet's supremacy will be taken into overdrive come 2023. Not because I'm a Duke's son. Because you are Jessica's son. You have more than one birthright, boy. In Wonka, we'll see Chalamet reign supreme among all chocolatiers. In the second chapter of Dune, Chalamet will come into his own as Paul Atreides. Or perhaps we should say Paul Muad'Dib. I can see it. If you'll have us, we will come. While Frank Herbert's thick book was always suited for a multi-part adaptation, making two movies was still a risk, especially given part one's exposition-heavy nature. Yet 2021's Dune was not only celebrated among fans old and new, but it overcame the pandemic at the box office. Part two promises to be even grander in scale, with additions like Florence Pugh as Princess Irulan. We can also count on Zendaya having more than seven minutes of screen time as Paul grows closer to Chani. I don't believe you're the least on Al-Gahib, but I want you to die with honor. Number 9. The Hunger Games – The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes Release date, November 17th, 2023 it's been over 10 years since Katniss Everdeen made it to the big screen. Ironically, her story is more relevant now. He turns the best of us against each other. Stop killing for him! Where The Hunger Games was about rebellion, this prequel deals with the downfall of civilization that put Coriolanus Snow on the path to Pan Am's presidency. Relative newcomer Tom Blythe plays a young Snow, who's chosen to mentor Rachel Zegler's Lucy Gray Baird for the 10th Hunger Games. Similar to Anakin Skywalker, we know what becomes of Snow. Where Anakin's story ends with redemption, though, such isn't the case for Corio. I take life for specific reasons. Like the book, the film should provide an interesting character study as we see a different side of Snow, only to be reminded that a monster is lurking behind any moments of humanity. It's a new Coriolanus, it's one we haven't seen before, it's uh, an originated kind of young version of him. I feel over the moon to be able to kind of dig deep with him and follow in the footsteps of Donald who did such an incredible job in the first movie. Number 8. The Color Purple. Release date, December 20th, 2023. Alice Walker's Pulitzer Prize-winning novel has inspired an Oscar-nominated motion picture from Steven Spielberg and a Tony-winning stage musical. This adaptation is based on the latter, although Spielberg, Quincy Jones, and Oprah Winfrey are returning as producers. After debuting in 2005, the stage show was revived a decade later. The story hasn't lost its emotional resonance, with this screen adaptation being a long time coming. Following in the footsteps of Whoopi Goldberg and LaShawn's, American Idol winner Fantasia Barrino already played Seeley on Broadway. It's hard to believe, but this film marks Fantasia's cinematic debut. Blitz the Ambassador, who previously directed Beyonce's Black is King, blew away Oprah with his vision for the film, which she calls the next evolution of this beloved story. We have the ability of music to kind of explore where she is, and um, visually it's unmatched. I'm very excited. Number 7. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny Release date, June 30th, 2023. Those days have come and gone. Perhaps, perhaps not. After acquiring Lucasfilm in 2012, Disney was quick to start producing Star Wars content, and they haven't slowed down. Yet it's taken more than 10 years to get a new Indiana Jones movie off the ground. Damn, I thought that was closer. 
Hopefully this means that Disney and Lucasfilm have been taking their time to get the story down, since this will be Harrison Ford's actual Last Crusade as the character. That doesn't mean the end of the franchise, seeing how a Disney Plus series is being talked about. This is the end of an era for Ford, however. Nobody. <laughs> is going to be Indiana Jones. Ever. Don't you get it? <laughs> no one. <laughs> I'm Indiana Jones. So when you're gone, it's gone. When I'm gone, he's gone. <laughs> the fifth film offers a mix of new blood courtesy of Phoebe Waller-Bridge and director James Mangold, along with returning hallmarks like John Rhys Davies, composer John Williams, and producer Steven Spielberg. And we have, we have a really human story to tell, as well as a movie that will kick your ass. <laughs> Number 6. Legally Blonde 3 – Release Date to be Announced 2023 Legally Blonde 2 sets us up for a third installment, taking Elle Woods to the White House. Now that we're married, where do you want to live? Beverly Hills? Boston? Washington? Wow. I think I knew just the place. Yeah. When I want boys, want hard to Reese Witherspoon has been pretty busy since then, winning an Oscar and starring in hit shows like Big Little Lies. It's taken two decades, but Legally Blonde 3 is reportedly aiming for a 2023 release, with Witherspoon reprising her role. Mindy Kaling is writing the script with Dan Gore, although no plot details have been revealed yet. Given the current political landscape, there's no shortage of topics to cover. If we lose our voice, or if we let those who speak on our behalf compromise our voice, well then this country, this country is in for a really bad haircut. Jennifer Coolidge seems likely to come back, but we're curious if Selma Blair will return as Vivian. Blair has expressed interest, and with 2022 being a big year for her, we'd love to see more in 2023. I hope I get to at least make a cameo that I'm, I'm there. Hopeful. I mean, I'm I'm hoping, hoping that that legacy can continue because that was talk about the good things in life. Number five, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania, release date February 17th, 2023. From Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 to the Marvels, 2023 is going to be another packed year for the MCU. Quantum Mania has us the most excited for a few reasons. Where are we? Loki Season 1 gave us a taste of Jonathan Major's Kang the Conqueror. However, this movie will be Kang's first true step toward becoming the MCU's next big bad. After two films primarily set in the regular-sized world, this threequel is finally diving headfirst into the quantum realm. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal? down to the quantum realm. Keeping it in the family, the team includes Hope's parents and Scott's daughter Cassie, the latter of whom is played by Catherine Newton. Hmm, maybe it's the colorful costumes, maybe it's the family theme, but are we the only ones getting Spy Kids 3D vibes? She's been the Toymaker's prisoner. She could be brainwashed for all we know. Number 4. Barbie. Release date July 21st, 2023. Two of the year's biggest films mark their release on July 21st. We're sure Christopher Nolan will deliver another ambitious cinematic experience with the biopic Oppenheimer. However, we're more curious about Barbie. People may have preconceived notions when they hear the words, live-action Barbie movie. When you add director slash co-writer Greta Gerwig, though, those expectations completely change. On the heels of Lady Bird and Little Women, Gerwig continues to keep it interesting with what appears to be a meta-take on the Mattel icon. Is the Barbie movie the start of a franchise? <laughs> I can't answer all these things. Oh, I yes, you know. can. Yes, I you can. Know. I mean, I, it would certainly be exciting if it was. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling not only look like Barbie and Ken, but they have the comedy chops to bring self-awareness to these characters. With Noah Baumbach also co-writing, maybe Barbie and Ken's relationship will even take some unexpectedly dark turns. Barbie, not the Negro. This is from what? 1967? The Groovy Formal Collection, yes! What a shame. Oh, no, no, no! 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 Number 3. The Little Mermaid. Release date May 26, 2023. 
Between Wakanda Forever and Avatar The Way of Water, Under the Sea movies are seemingly becoming a trend. Given how far technology has come, now seems as good a time as any for a live-action adaptation of The Little Mermaid. Disney remakes can be tricky, as the filmmakers try to capture the spirit of the original without treading on too familiar waters. Won't people recognize me? Nobody will recognize you. That's how genie magic works. People see what they're told to see. Rob Marshall has the potential to strike the right balance, welcoming back talent from the 1989 classic like Alan Menken, while also bringing new voices on board like Lin-Manuel Miranda. We came up with some great stuff. I can't, I, I can't talk specifically about it very much because I'm constrained. We're now we're in the middle of filming. But we had a great experience. It was, a, it was um, so much fun. So far, we've only heard a fraction of Halle Bailey's Part of Your World rendition. Based on just a few seconds, though, we're sure we'll be listening to this soundtrack on repeat. Wish I could be part of that world. Number 2. Wish – Release Date – November 22, 2023 Every new animated Disney film warrants fanfare, but Wish looks especially enchanting. The story possesses echoes of Disney's golden age, with wishing stars being a core element. We recognize that with a big wish comes a lot of struggles, usually. The bigger the wish, the harder it is. And what we really wanted to celebrate was what you can find within yourself. The concept art takes us back to Disney's 90s renaissance, with a plucky princess and animal sidekick at the forefront. The key creative team includes masters of the current renaissance with Chris Buck of Frozen and Fawn Wirasuntan co-directing. Jennifer Lee, who's working on the screenplay, said that the film has been an incredible collaboration across all the generations. You, because you feel that energy of what stars come to be, the possibility, imagination, and that's part of Disney too. And so for me, it's just been like this strangely organic, wondrous experience. Based on what we've seen so far, Wish could very well blend what we love most about each Disney generation. This extends to the animation style, which reportedly mixes watercolor and CG techniques. Will our dreams come true? What Disney's done for a lot of us has been that place, that escape, that hope. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 – Release date July 14th, 2023 Mission Accepted You're fighting to save an ideal that doesn't exist. John Wick Chapter 4 – Release date March 24, 2023 This franchise is aging like a fine, well, Keanu Reeves. You ready, John? Yeah. Fast 10 – Release date May 19, 2023 Jason Momoa as a fast and furious villain? That sounds about right. Dungeons and Dragons – Honor Among Thieves Release date March 31st, 2023. Is this the D&D &D adaptation we've been waiting for? We didn't mean to unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So how do we pull that off? Uh... Figure it out over a drink? Probably best. The Exorcist. Release date October 13th, 2023. David Gordon Green goes from Michael Myers to Pazuzu. So, um unbelievably different. One is very um, primal and the other is very academic. And so it's just trying to switch gears there. I'm Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse – Release date June 2, 2023 Pixar continues to break new ground, and we're confident that Elemental will be no exception. However, we can't think of a recent film that's had a greater impact on animation than Into the Spider-Verse. When do I know I'm Spider-Man? You won't. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Even beyond animation, 
You can see how Spider-Verse might have influenced the recent slew of multiverse movies, including the live-action No Way Home. It's hard to imagine anything topping the initial surprise of the 2018 film, but Miles' next chapter is shaping up to be even more ambitious. So ambitious that it had to be a two-part sequel. I'm grounded. Bummer. What? Is Spider-Man grounded? This first half takes Miles and Gwen to six universes, each encompassing a new style. Everything about this premise sounds like the next logical step for this story and the animation medium. I see this, this spark in you. It's, it's amazing. Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.